Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I have morning voice on because I'm recording this voice over the day that this video is supposed to go up. Um, hi! <laughs> I can't believe it's almost November and that it's week six of school. Like, that's so weird to me. Um, but yeah, a lot of things are changing in my bullet journal for November, so I'm really excited for this one. As always, we're doing the mood board and the calendar, and as you can see, I have some of my lines filled in just because I thought that this plan with me was going to take way longer than it actually did. Um, but there are a lot of lines involved, which you will see on the next page, because I am getting back into habit tracking, and I want to use my habit tracker in a more productive way than in I didn't fill out this page and I get all flustered and stressed out kind of way. So I'm hoping that that goes well. Um, I actually have a sleep tracker too and my Apple Watch, since everything has been like released and everything, I'm pretty convinced that it's not going to live that much longer. So I didn't really want to track my sleep. Um, if I didn't have my watch to do it, to like actually time it and everything, but I think we're gonna have to do it without it, <laughs> so that's really fun. Um, but as you guys can see, I'm putting together my mood board. It's very like this one. I think kind of feels a little bit more October than it that, than the last one did. The last one was all black and white. I don't think that was in my October plan with me. I think I did that after the fact, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's definitely more like fall vibes, kind of like cozy, spooky-ish vibes, but like not really spooky, so I don't really know. Um, my birthday is this month, <laughs> so that's exciting. That's really fun. I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of picked pictures that I liked, which is pretty much what I do every single time that I do a, um, a mood board, I really just go through and just pick pictures that I like and I think look nice together. Um, and that's about it. I had some struggles with lettering and writing numbers in this uh, plane with me. I'm not really sure why. You're about to see the first duration of it. Um, but I do really like those mild liner brush pens. I don't know why, I feel like nobody else likes this brown color but me, but I feel like it's perfect for fall and it's like, it's like a nice brown if that makes any sense. Like it's kind of um, like purpley in a way and it's, I don't know, I like it. It's cool, it's, it's a cool brown is what it is, but here is my first of a few different lettering mistakes. <laughs> Um, me forgetting how to go from a B into an O, and then the O looking all nasty, and it's, it's bad. It doesn't look good. Um, it doesn't look that bad in the end. I end up kind of going over everything and kind of smoothing everything out, but it wasn't good. <laughs> I was kind of mad that it happened. Um, but yeah. Anyways, what were we talking about? Picking out pictures. What's happening in November? Um, okay, so today is the 25th, the day that this video is going up and the day that I'm filming this by accident, I'm sorry. Um, I, what's happening in November? My birthday's happening. My sister is coming home from Idaho. She and her husband have been out there for a while. So they're spending some time at home because her birthday is actually the day after mine. So we always celebrate them together when we can because normally she's very, very far away. Um, she did her master's degree in California, in Los Angeles, so for a while there <laughs> we couldn't celebrate our birthdays together. <clears throat> but nobody needs to be anywhere, <laughs> so she can celebrate her birthday here. She's actually in law school in California technically, but they're online, so she's just been going back and forth um, between her, where her husband's family lives and where we live, so that's fun. Um, the election's happening, obviously. That's not fun. I'm not going to talk about it. Um, what else is happening? I Next Friday, I have to start applying for jobs for my co-op, which is really exciting. I actually just submitted my resume as like for my final review for my teacher. So basically how that process works is I have to... Um, 
what am I talking about? <laughs> I have to make a resume through this class that everybody has to take before they go on co-op and then there are like three rounds of co-op so I am starting in the first round because you should start in the first round and apply to as many jobs as you can um, <clears throat> so I have to like submit all of that stuff now and then granted that I got a job that's great um, and everything but there are like a couple weeks of interviews and then you have to like rank your preferences for jobs and then if you don't get a job or you don't commit to one you should go into B round and then C round which C round doesn't have like an end date um, but if you don't get placed in a job there's like a safety net for you you end up taking a class and doing like a bunch of work um, to make up for not having a job but I think they placed even in the pandemic they placed like 87% of co-op students which I think is pretty impressive so like I'm not worried about that I'm just worried about juggling classes and <laughs> applying to jobs and doing interviews and keeping track of all of that stuff um, so that's exciting <laughs> I am excited though. I have, um, I've been looking outside of the system a little bit. So like we have our own like internal LinkedIn, I guess is like the best way to describe it. So we have that, um, but you can look outside of the co-op program too and just have the company sign an agreement with like what is supposed to happen and everything. And I did find an internship that I want to apply for that's outside of the system already, so I want to spend some more time doing that today, but today is cleaning day. <laughs> My apartment's very messy and it very much needs to be cleaned, so I'm going to do that. And then I have pledge education for my service fraternity at four, and we have to take a test. And I'm like mostly ready for this test, but like I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's fine. Um, what else happens in November? Thanksgiving happens in November. My family still doesn't know what we're doing for Thanksgiving because it's a pandemic. Um, so that's really fun. Yeah, it's kind of sad. It makes me sad to think that like we won't just be all sitting around the table together. So that's disappointing. Um, I do actually have some goals written down now. I pretty much never write them when I'm doing my plan with me. Just because I do my plan with me is it usually ends up being pretty far ahead of the month. Like we're, there's still another full week of October before November. Um, but some of my goals include in using the flipped app more, um, getting outside every single day, turning my camera on in class because I think it'll one help me pay attention. But I think that if I turn my camera on in class, like I feel like it would just be easier to like make a friend that way if that makes sense. Um, like since we're not in class together, it's kind of hard to make friends in class. So I kind of thought that if I turn my camera on, maybe more people will turn their cameras on. It'll help me pay attention. Maybe friendships will happen. I don't know. <laughs> um, it just really, it feels really weird to not have like the ability to like tap on someone's shoulder and ask a question and like start a conversation and stuff like that. So I want to like be as engaged in my classes as I can be. So that's basically that goal. Um, start working out more. What else? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're all kind of like self care goals, if that makes any sense. Um, they're all like self love, self care, kind of just getting into the groove of being online because I will probably be online for winter quarter um we had to plan out our i guess class registration is another thing that happens in november um we had to start planning out our schedules but usually there's something called schedule ahead that you can use to like actually see the schedule for the next term all in one place and it has like guidelines not guidelines but like restrictions in it so like if i can't register for that class it's not gonna let me schedule ahead that class um, and then the best part about that is that you can go in and like pick them and save them and then when you go in to actually register, you can just click and say I want to register for all of my schedule ahead classes and it makes it really quick and easy. But that's not up yet because we don't have an official announcement for winter, <laughs> even though everyone knows that it's going to be online. Um, I had even, I had done this assignment that I'm going to talk about. Um, we had to make an Excel sheet. 
instead of doing schedule ahead is what I was trying to say. Um, using the catalog, which is the catalog of all of the classes. And I think two of my classes were going to be on campus and now they're both <laughs> remote. And one of them was a class that isn't even offered remotely regularly. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to be remote. Everyone's kind of pretty sure at this point. Um, but they just haven't announced it yet, so we can't get into the system, so we can't make registering for classes easy. So I have to apply to my jobs, deal with the election, because I know I'm going to be stressed out during the election, and schedule for my classes for winter quarter <laughs> all in one week. Yay. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, the week after, I guess, is next week technically tomorrow? I don't know. I know I start my weeks on a Sunday now, but it feels weird to say next week, meaning what feels like two weeks from now, but it's really not two weeks from now. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, you guys saw me make my little sleep tracker. Um, yeah, I definitely like doing a big sleep tracker like that because sleep is one of the most important things that I like tracking. And if my Apple Watch actually worked, <laughs> I would definitely do it every single night. Um, if I use my Apple Watch for that for the most part, honestly, I don't really use it. So I don't wear it when I work out anymore, first of all, because I don't care. <laughs> but I wear it for the rest of the day after working out and doing all of that, just to kind of see um, like how many steps I'm getting without my workout, that kind of stuff, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah. So I have closed rings is one of my habits. I forgot about that. Um, honestly, that bar just might stay empty if my Apple Watch decides that it's gonna kick the dust. Um, but I like to try to close my rings without my workout, if that makes any sense. Because if I do my workout with my watch on, I pretty much close my rings immediately. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. I don't know how we got to that. Hi, I have ADHD. <laughs> I have no idea how we got to talking about my Apple Watch. Oh, tracking sleep. Um, but yeah, sleep is definitely one of the most important things. And I did it in the 24 hour way because I take naps a lot. <laughs> so I guess like, uh, I don't know. I guess my Apple Watch does pick up naps sometimes, but not all the time. And I'm also not wearing it all day because you have to have it charged for it to track at night using the app that I do. Like they recommend that you have an X amount of time charged. So I don't know, <laughs> I have mixed feelings now. Um, but I do really, 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 really want to stick to trackers this month. There's a lot of important things that I want on there. Um, like not ordering take, I didn't order takeout today. I did my Bible study. I didn't spend any money, which would be great. That'll never happen. <laughs> That's literally never going to happen. Um, drinking enough water, journaling, reading, like all that kind of stuff. Using Flipped and seeing my hours on there and then keeping track of my mood. Like I really want to use this as a way to learn about myself. And I love that I just focused the camera and everything got blurry. <laughs> um, but anyways, this is just a little overview. I'm just going to add these pages to my index, which I have been keeping up with and I actually really, really like my index. I'm really into that. Um, yeah, I think it'll be really useful because I take my um, fraternity pledge ed notes in here actually. So during this quiz where I can look at my notes and everything, I can just flip to those pages and it'll be all easy peasy. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you have a fantastic week and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye! <laughs>